It is impossible to talk about Bomb Rush Cyberfunk without comparing it to the legendary Jet Set Radio. So let's just get it out of the way right now. Bomb Rush Cyberfunk looks incredibly similar to Jet Set Radio, thanks to its 90s fashion sense, shell-setted aesthetic, and picture of free-spirited rebellion. But it's not Jet Set 2, and with two decades of advancements in technology between them, it's sure to bring a lot more than rose-tinted memories to the table. Everything about Bomb Rush Cyberfunk is exactly the sort of thing we need much more of in gaming right now. That's why we need to stop pigeonholing it in Jet Set Radio Shadow. Gamers are unambitious these days. We heap endless praise on them for painstakingly crafting horse tacticals that shrink in the cold or t-shirts that lift over characters. But are they really getting any more creative? Narratively, they explore more moral grey areas and try to construct more moving stories beyond Killamagic simulators. But even that is getting stale with Sony's blockbuster farm falling back on an increasingly predictable formula. Bomb Rush Cyberfunk doesn't suffer from this lack of ambition. By design, it looks dated. It embraces a 90s aesthetic in a way AAA games would be terrified of doing. Everything at the top end of the industry needs to be photorealistic. It needs to be just like a movie. Visually, it's impressive. BRC is a throwback to when games were fun. Games, first and foremost, are toys. I love that they strive to tell deeper, more meaningful stories as serious pieces of art these days. But games that embrace being a toy, that make you wish your PS5 came in frosted purple plastic, will always have a special place in my heart. Cyberfunk has breaknet movement, an explosion of colours, energetic grinding, and from the short gameplay trailer we've seen, it seeks to integrate actual gameplay into how it tells its story rather than the typical gameplay cutscene gameplay driven games often fall victim to. The game also seeks to let you interact with the world in the best way possible. It's definitely impressive that when you kill a gear in Red Dead Redemption 2, his carcass remains in the world, slowly rotten, until either you deal with it or another event interferes with it. This is also the case with the object's physics and ability to interact with the smallest of details in many other AAA games produced today. On the contrary, Halo Infinite recently went viral for its poor fruit physics because players have become so used to giving every single item in the world perfectly tailored to the endless possibilities of how they play. That's not what Cyberfunk is about. Instead you can grind, jump, climb, and will run anywhere you want to go. It looks to be challenging the speed and freedom of Sunset Overdrive. This is what I want from a game that lets you do anything. I don't care whether I can pick up this tin of soup and open it. I care if I can run up to the top of that roof there. Letting us interact with the major events of the world in ways that up the pacing and fit it seamlessly with the gameplay is far more interesting than horse balls and rock sliding physics. Finally, there's Bomb Rush Cyberpunk's most important feature, its attitude. With just a couple of trailers to go on, it's hard to pass exactly what the game thinks of the world, but if it lives up to the appearances, this is exactly the type of game we need today. Bomb Rush Cyberpunk is youthful and a rebel with a cause. Most games let you be cops, if not literally, then metaphorically. I'm right and you're wrong because I'm stronger. Cyberpunk does not appear to be going in this direction, instead embracing the spirit of the outcasts and exemplifying an eagerness to uplift the downtrodden. We need a game like this in our world, one that understands exactly what it is and what it's trying to say. Bomb Brass Cyberpunk will launch into a slew of Jet Set Radio comparisons, either being praised for living up to the Jet Set or criticised for falling short of it. But this is not Jet Set, this is Bomb Brass Cyberpunk. Coming out for Switch this year and PC. Hopefully it comes out for more consoles, but I'm really excited for this game and I cannot wait.